and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to go for a ride on the aerial rider grizzly as you see it right there so let's hop aboard So on today's video, I want to talk about Aerial Rider. So they right now have a sale going on, a Mother's Day sale. I'm not sure how long the sale will last, but currently they have all of their bikes on sale all of their models for $200 off so that includes the two versions of the X-Class and it includes the Kepler and the one I'm riding right now the Grizzly now if it was me purchasing one of those I would take the Grizzly for the fact that I already know what the bike does and secondly the dual motor uh, setup dual motor and dual battery I mean you can't beat that this bike with two motors can do a lot and if you uh, need to climb hills, two motors uh, definitely comes in handy for that. So the X-Class uh, bikes are running at uh, $21.99 right now. The Kepler is running at $17.99. And then the... Uh, Grizzly here, the one I'm on now, is running at $30.99. So I got my Grizzly just over a year ago, actually 13 months ago now. And when I purchased it, I paid full price $32.99. So $30.99 is a pretty good deal. The only difference uh, is I have version 2 and now they're out with version 3 pretty similar I mean they did a few uh, tweaks to the bike changed the headlight uh, for the better I'm sure because I got to admit the headlight on the uh, version 2 here is not the greatest in the world but uh, but uh, version 3 The other thing about version 3 compared to 2 though is you no longer get two battery chargers, you only get one. Whereas when I got version 2, it was really nice to get two chargers and they, the other cool thing about the chargers, and I don't know if it's true with the version 3, but I got a 5 amp charger, a two 5 amp chargers, and so uh, that was a pretty good deal because then I can charge up both batteries because I always uh, ride this bike with two batteries uh, on and uh, so when I go to charge them up I charge them both together but the uh, the battery that sits under the seat though is 20 amp hour and the one that sits on the uh, down tube over here is uh, 15 amp hour so I'm not sure why they're odd sized but like why not have them both uh, equal I would have liked 220s but put it this way though I'd rather have the 20 and the 15 than two uh, 15s that's for sure 
so I can uh, vouch for this bike that it's a pretty darn good bike if you're looking for something with uh, some get up and go this bike has it I mean the top speed uh, you'll probably get around 35 or 36 miles an hour but um, like I've said many times on this with this bike is where it shines is with the uh, dual motor though and of course putting two motors turning two motors on you're not really going to get any more speed but you are going to get acceleration quickly like uh, watch this you can hear that second motor it's like a jet taking off there and uh so you're going to notice that acceleration quickly if you're trying to get through intersections that's where i like to use the second uh, motor and also hill climbing you start climbing a hill and you want that extra uh, kick just hit that other motor like i generally ride in the uh, rear motor only mode until I need the uh, other motor and then I kick in the front motor and there's a couple of reasons why I ride when I do ride with just one motor I don't think you need the second motor all the time that's just me uh, that's one secondly sometimes I forget too that I have both motors on here with this switch and uh it'll uh, peel out on you if you're not careful you know if you're not expecting it um, it could uh, could actually knock you off the bike if you're not used to it or, or ready for it and so uh, you got to be careful there and uh, and the other reason why I don't like the uh, running two motors all the time first of all it takes more battery power and secondly though another thing is the uh, motor is kind of noisy the front motor like listen to the back one now I'll switch to the front See, it's got a different it's not that it's a problem but it's just I like the quieter sound some people love the sound of the uh, the motor there when it cranks out but I like it quiet I don't know it's just And you can do some uh, pedaling on this bike as well. I know some people say that they have a problem pedaling this bike, but I think if you're taller, you might have a problem. But if you're not too tall and you're in the 5'9 range like I am, pretty easy bike to pedal. So I can vouch for this bike if you want to uh, check out I've got a couple of videos that I did reviews on the bike I did a, a review after four months last August middle of August uh, 2022 and then I did one after uh, 10 months and that was early in 2023 that I did that video I will leave a link for both of those uh, review videos in the description if you want to take a peek at those and see uh, what my comments were on the bike after the four months and then after the 10 months And I'll also leave a link in the description for Aerial Rider so you can get right to the site where the bikes are at. And uh, 
So like I say, it's not just this bike, but they do have the Kepler on sale and the X-Class, but I have not ridden either of those. So I can't give an opinion on those, but based on others that have had those bikes that I've uh, heard from, uh, thumbs up, especially the, uh, well, both of them. I shouldn't say especially one because they both get pretty good uh, comments. I don't hear too many negatives on really on either one of the bikes and uh, for $21.99 on the X-Class and $19 or $17.99 on the Kepler pretty good so uh, you might want to check those out like I say I will leave a link down in the uh, descriptions for uh, their site so that's going to do it for this video if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other videos on the channel, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video today. And until next time. Take care.